Okay, welcome to another how-to video. My name is Dave, CTO at DVS. Thanks to Seagate for sponsoring these videos. Today, we're gonna to take a look at the new IVMS 4200 Eco PC, workstation, whatever you want to call it. So it's a nice cost-effective way of providing a client PC with Windows 10 IoT installed and uh, IUMS 4200 pre-installed. So let's take it out of the box and take a look. So in the box, uh, we get two boxes, manuals and CDs. In the small brown box, you have the power supply, SATA, power lead, mouse, network cable, all the standard stuff that comes in a DVR, NVR box. And then the actual 4200 unit itself, we'll take it out the wrapper. Nice weight to it, well constructed, I'll try not to drop it. But it is like a thin client, so you've got like a small desktop thin client on the rear. We've got the RS-232 connections, a VGA, uh, audio in and out, HDMI 1, HDMI 2, two USBs, two LAN ports, and then the obviously the uh, power DIN connection. So what we'll do is quickly unscrew this as well to show you inside. So we'll use my uh, lazy method. I'll probably lose all of the screws, that's what I normally do. But. Okay, so. so, removing the lid, a nice blank chassis, uh, small PCB with a fan, two fans, one for the a CPU, one to draw air into cool the unit, uh, pretty standard stuff. You've got two SATA connections and the power connection so we can fit a couple of hard drives. So if you want to use the IUMX 4200 software and uh, like you would on a standard PC where you can record or capture snapshots, we'll install a hard drive to do just that. Um, pretty pretty uh, standard. I'll uh, put a hard drive in it, we'll put it over there, turn it on and see how we get on. See you in two ticks. Okay, so we've got the IMS 4200 Eco Workstation actually running, so if I show you it, it's already fitted in this lovely thing. Like I said, we go away and get it running, so I'm gonna move you closer so you can see. So this is the best way to show you. So this is the actual IMS 4200 Workstation. So it's got full functionality, IMS 4200 pre-installed, so that's not a, an absolute issue at all. So again, you can do whatever you want, so if I want to put it in a four-way decoding. Um, it's got, this, uh, like I said, the full functionality, but we're going to put it back to... Actually, we'll just double-click on the left-hand side. What you'll also notice is this unit is able to support um, two monitors. So this is the one, monitor one, to the side, and down here is monitor two. So I can take the mouse and uh, double click on another unit which I've got and select all of those cameras. So there's quite a lot of cameras viewing that now. So as you can see, um, if I move you around closer, so we've got those cameras there. So that's all from the demo room unit. And again, if I go up there, so you've got both monitors running at the same time. What you will see is the CPU uh, use is running quite high now. So we're decoding two i-series recorders. Most of them are set to H265 Plus um, or H265, H265 Plus. They're high resolution and the substreams are all high value. So uh, that will have an impact on the CPU decoding capability. But you can see there, it is actually decoding two monitors as we, at the same time and it's working quite nicely. Again, you can have the alarm pop-ups, so we can enable that, and you'll get any alarm pop-ups as they happen. That'll pop up, pop up on the screen there, but like uh, always happens when you're filming, when you want something to pop up, it never does pop up. 
um, and vice versa so nothing's going to pop up I'd imagine but we will wait for that to see if that will pop up so as you can see there we have now got a popper so it does support all the normal functions that IMS 4200 has and I have made that one um, a nine way split so the CPU gets a bit of a an easier life so what I would say is yes it's fantastic for the cost it's pre-installed nice and thin already set up so very simple but just be um, mindful of its performance if you're gonna put uh, 64 cameras through it on the screen at the same time throttle your substream back and or oh, just be sensible and use one monitor but it does support the two um, but for the value it's very 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 nice bit of kit so next week we're going to take a look at um, if you look on here this is the IDS false alarm NVR so it's the second generation false alarm NVR so we're doing some work on that now we're going to do a video based on that so the false alarm um, rejection unit a uh, very very good piece of kit it's a new GPU in there so keep an eye out for that in the next week or so and we've got some great 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 tech that we're going to uh, show you in the next week or so so again thanks very much for supporting us liking us keep commenting keep sharing keep subscribing etc and we'll see you next week for the next how-to video thanks a lot guys <laughs>